hello everyone and welcome back to another video today i'm drinking some tea in a christmas mug because i actually really like tea and i just really wanted to sit down and talk about some things that have been on my mind lately i feel like i haven't really made a video where i'm just talking to you all in a while so that's what i'm gonna do today before i get into the video i just want to talk about what's on my arm right here basically i was running at night and i tripped over someone's halloween decoration and i scraped my arm and i didn't have any big band-aids so i just used some gauze and tape so now that that's out of the way let's get into the video basically what i want to talk about in this video is how my entire life has changed and my my views have changed in the last two years. If you follow me on social media, you probably already know this, but but as of this past Friday, it's been two years since I filed for my legal name change. And a lot of people that watch my videos now found me from my name change guide, which has almost 10,000 views and is the number one search result for California name change on YouTube. But two years ago when I actually filed for my name change, I only told about a handful of people. I just told a few of my friends from high school and a few of my family members. I didn't tell anyone from college. I didn't tell anyone from the internet. And that's exactly what I wanted because I didn't want people to know about my whole life story and the reason for why I was changing my name. I'm not trying to blame anyone who knew me when I was younger, but throughout most of my childhood, I was known for some of the not so great things that happened with some of my family members. I'm not gonna get into any stories in this video, but I have talked about some of these things in the past, but basically things were very messy. There was a lot of drama and a lot of these things happened very publicly and a lot of people knew about it. And when you grow up in a high conflict divorce situation, people will make assumptions about you. People will treat you differently. Again, I'm not trying to blame anyone, but that's just how I felt about the situation. And I really didn't like it. I just wanted to be treated like everyone else. So after I graduated from high school and I moved to San Jose and I started college at San Jose State. I didn't tell anyone anything. I wasn't able to legally change my name before I started college. So I didn't know how to get started. I didn't have the money and I was really worried about not being able to vote. So my name wasn't legally changed before, but I was still able to get my preferred name on all the roll sheets and all the portals and everything like that. So everyone just knew me as Monica Mallon. A lot of people assumed that I was white and I would only talk about the side of my family that I was on speaking terms with. So a lot of people assumed that I was adopted or they just made other assumptions about me that weren't true. But for a while that was really awesome for me because I got to have the fresh start that I always wanted and I just got treated like everyone else and nobody made a big deal about things. People weren't being really politically correct around me and all that was great for a while. A few months into college, I filed for my legal name change and I wasn't planning on telling anyone in college. I wasn't planning on telling the internet. I just wanted to get my name legally changed and move on with my life. So I filed for my name change in October and my court date was in December. As my court date was getting closer and closer, I started to realize that my past is important and that my story matters and that by sharing my story and my experiences, I could actually help people, but I was still going back and forth about what I wanted to do. But then on my actual court date on December 20th, 2016, while I was waiting, while I was waiting to get my decree with a bunch of other people who are also getting their names changed, while I was waiting in line at court with other people who were getting their names changed, I started talking to some of them, and a lot of us were changing our names for similar reasons. And I also learned that a lot of the people there had actually used name change services or lawyers. They weren't doing it in pro per like I was. So I finally got my decree and I left court and I was walking to social security. I was really happy and excited because I waited so long to get my name changed. I decided to post a picture on my social media. This is a picture for those of you that haven't seen it. And the caption said, I just got my name legally changed to Monica Mallon. I've waited so long for this day. I'll explain everything in a video later. So I ended up making a video about why I changed my name, which a lot of you have probably watched. And then a few days after that, someone messaged me and said, I want to change my name for the same reason as you. Can you please make a video about this? And I made my name change guide. I was mostly just making it for that one person, but it ended up helping a lot of people. And since I posted that video, I've answered hundreds of questions and I've helped hundreds of people individually with the forms. And I'm honestly so proud of that video and I'm so proud of the impact that it's had. I really want to show people that they could change their name in pro per without spending thousands of dollars on a lawyer or hundreds of dollars on using some sort of name change service. And I just really think that it's important to share your knowledge and the lessons that you've learned with other people and to just be the type of person that you needed when you were younger. So when I was going through the name change process, I was really lost and confused and I couldn't really find that many videos on YouTube about it. I was mostly just reading a bunch of articles and I eventually figured out how to fill out the forms, but I wanted to make the process easier for other people in California. So I made the video. So that's kind of how all of that happened. But the main point that I'm trying to make here is that it's important to learn from the negative experiences in your life and to use those experiences to help other people. I'm not gonna lie, people do treat me differently now that they know my story, but it's completely worth it to me because now I get to help other people and I get to show that you don't have to have a perfect family or childhood to be a good person. So I think that's pretty much everything that I want to say in this video. I'm going to be doing a court fees giveaway where I pay for someone's court fees for their name change when my name change video reaches 10,000 views. I'm also going to be making some more vlogs and college videos because a lot of you have been requesting those. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this down in the comments below. Stay awesome, vote on November 6th, and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.